So this is the kiosk spot for the whole reservation. And you just enter a trail system along here, anywhere through it. It's hilarious how instantly popular it is. Just goes to show how lacking in amenities at this level the area generally is. So we go in off the kiosk and you come into a bunch of stones and a mini amphitheater with all sorts of references to activities. And this is what the best modern insurance company approved, union made, sweated and worried over by committees and whatever boardwalk money can buy. You can bet a lot of agonizing went into this sucker. <laughs> I'm hearing a little of it even yet. It's not a very large park and it's really kind of on the edge of a hobo jungle where various homeless people in camp as they endure the punishment accrued of, from trying to live in Boston and not have chasing shitloads of money. <laughs> so we won't really explore much around here and I wouldn't really recommend it. It mostly looks to be sort of casual peaking at this point as everybody tries to get a sense of the upshot of the effort. Over here you have a principal feature, an overlooking place to clear at swamp birds and get a sense of the river. Lo and behold, we have a Mallard already doing an inspection. And the water's looking relatively clear, so turbidity is settling out. And eventually that chicken wire will go away and you'll have a fully colonized wetland. But this is probably the principal feature that has engendered excitement. Perfectly fine place to get into the core of a wetland and observe birds and whatnot. And that's pretty much where it ends up. circle runs around this way. There are all kinds of little sculptural touches. Some arrow had aquatic stuff growing. Pretty good fall colors.
Oop, Kingfisher Memorial. <coughs> this is probably a halfway decent Kingfisher habitat. This looks to be a pretty dense habitat. And <laughs> not far in the distance, some sort of office parking lot. Yes, it's well woven into the fabric of a basically urban place. came out well. They have a bunch of these things covering the different species. They're interested in increasing species awareness. And here's where the various standing ponds find their way into the ale life. And following that bit of confluence of the drainage with the Alewife Mainstream, we find ourselves coming back to rejoin the Alewife Bikeway, former Central Massachusetts. Instead of the parking lot, this would be our way to the subway station. This is essentially right on the doorstep of the Ale Life subway station. This one I don't think was even started when I came through here. It's pretty impressive. Follow the swale a while. Here's the settling pond. To handle the turbidity, this is probably why the stream ahead is so clear. Four Bay Inlet covering 335 acres. Or something. Yeah, this looks great. <laughs> Cambridge has something to be proud of once more. It's got a lot of things to be proud of, but it's always nice when there's another one. Uh, our pal, the American Bullfrog. Naturally, I'll be coming back here times ahead. It's a four-season place. Nice, right? Yeah. 
And here's where we rejoin the bikeway.